The standard American diet is more commonly known as the SAD diet, and it is very sad, and it has a lot of very negative uh, outcomes. Most chronic diseases right now, like cancer, obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, are directly tied to nutrition. In fact, nutrition is a higher risk factor than smoking for some of these chronic diseases. 72% of us are either obese or overweight. 46% of us have either diabetes or prediabetes, and Alzheimer's disease is on the rise. I have always believed that there is a connection between what we eat and our health. However, I have struggled my whole life to make healthy food taste really good. Traditionally, nutrition has taken a very small role in medical education and even advanced practice provider education as well. Here at Southern Adventist University, we are one of the first nursing programs to offer a culinary medicine lab in our advanced practice program. Currently, it is a, an option for our on-campus labs, but we hope in the future to integrate it into the core curriculum. It's only nutrition that actually reverses those diseases. So why would you teach nurse practitioners how to help diseases not get worse so fast, but not tell them how to reverse it? They can't talk about how good it is and be excited about it if they haven't done it themselves and been excited themselves. And so it's just really important to bring them into the kitchen and show them how good it can be and show them how easy it is to cook helpfully. I think one of the strengths of our program is the team effort between the School of Nursing and the School of Health and Kinesiology. We have a trained professional chef who is providing the hands-on cooking instruction here in our vegetarian culinary arts kitchen. We have a dietitian that's teaching the applied nutrition. How does this impact diabetes and obesity? And we have the nursing approach that is looking at the conversation that we have with the, the patient and, and trying to make it more of a coach-like approach. So this team effort has allowed us to combine knowledge and skill sets and perspectives and create a more comprehensive approach. Yeah, I was interested in participating in the culinary medicine lab because that's where the rubber meets the road. You know, we can have all this knowledge, but until we really know how to implement it, and put it into practice, it's all just head knowledge. So in the lab, you get to take the time to actually prepare meals and um, try them out, which is always fun. Um, but more than that, there is also a lot of instruction on taking that into a clinical practice um, because it's one thing for us to know it as clinicians, but we really need to be able to disseminate that information to um, our clients and patients that we're working with. So learned a lot in the lab about you know, helping get that information out to the patients and helping them make healthy meals. I was able to learn a lot from Chef Bonnie. Uh, for example, simple things that made a huge difference, like not sauteing garlic with onions, but waiting uh, and adding garlic later, or how to use various um, seasonings to flavor foods. I really believe that the emphasis in this class on plant-based or plant-forward diets and health promotion and disease management reversal is really going to help me help the clients and help meet their needs for making those very necessary changes. People have this conception that healthy food doesn't taste very good. And so it was really exciting to show them that that's not true, that healthy food can taste just as good if not better. And so I hope they continue down that path of experimenting with healthy food, with whole foods, uh, fresh vegetables, fruits, nuts, grains. And when they're excited about themselves, then they will want to share it with their patients. And so I just hope they continue to do that. It moves it out of the head into something very practical, something doable. They are doing it themselves. They, some of the students have some experience cooking, others don't. And so it just um, invites them to change their own diet. It's very hard to translate that and it's very hard to sell that idea. But if you're eating healthy yourself, it's much easier to convince patients to do that. So I am ready for part two. 
I'd like to do more. I'd like to learn more. I'd like to, you know, expand my recipe repertoire. I would really like to be able to continue to do classes of this nature. I think it would be very beneficial.